you clicked on this video, chances are you are wondering how I shade and blend in my Roblox spray paint drawings. Or maybe you're just bored and needed a video to watch. Anyway, now that you're here, you already know what this video is about by the title, so let's just get on to the tutorial. Cue the intro. Whoops, I forgot to introduce myself. Hi, it's me, Orangello, and welcome back. Or, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Now we can get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of shading and blending, and for that, we are going to need to draw a 3D shape. And what better way to demonstrate both concepts than by using a sphere? Here, I am just choosing a color, and originally I was going to choose red, but for demonstration purposes, I decided to make the sphere grayscale so that you can see the differences of values easier. I am just drawing in the sphere, using a shade that is almost on the middle of the value bar. And boom, we have a circle. Now for the shading, it is going to depend on the light source. So if your light source is coming from the top, then the bottom will be much darker. If it comes from the right side, then the left side will be much darker because that's where the shadows are. For this video, I'm going to pretend that the light is coming from the top left. So now that we have our light source, we know that the top left of the sphere is going to be the lightest part. Knowing that, we are going to choose a very light shade, almost white from the value bar. Taking that color on layer 2, I draw in a shape that is kind of like an oval, making sure that the sphere keeps its form. Here is where I will show you how to blend. If you are working with any other drawing program, there is probably a blending tool. However, this game does not have that, so we are going to blend by moving down and choosing colors on the value bar. Let me demonstrate. After we have this light area, we are going to choose a color that is just barely darker than that color from before and draw along the edge, just barely mixing with a color next to it. And then we are just going to continue this until we get to the base color. It should look something like this. And if you wanted, you could use the eyedropper tool to choose a color you previously used and fix areas. Now, we will do a similar thing but with a darker shade for the shading. I am drawing a crescent shape and then drawing along that shape with strips that are just barely lighter than the color before. Basically transitioning from the darkest to the middle shade as seamlessly as we can. Again, you can use the eyedropper tool to choose colors from before and fix up areas to make them look more blended. And ta-da, now it's a sphere! Another way you can practice light is by using a shape like a block. As you can see, the light is coming from the top side. So the top side will be the lightest and the other sides will be darker. Here, I am just drawing a different block, but this time the light source is coming from the right. Using shapes like these can be an easy way to practice. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope I helped you somehow. Obviously, I know that this isn't the most, I don't know, good tutorial ever, but I tried. I did try. Okay? Yeah. Okay, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please let me know if it helped you, because I don't think it helped anyone. But anyways, bye!